Dear Heavenly Father, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you. Uh, Father God, just ask that your Holy Spirit please lead us all in this prayer, uh, in this meeting. Father, we bind every demonic spirit, devils that is attacking us in any way. In Jesus' name, we bind them. Every principality is empowered. We bind them in Jesus' name. Every demon will get out of this place, out of this place in Jesus' name. Father God, cover us all with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father God, help those, Father God, that couldn't hear your gospel. I just ask that you please, Lord, help them to know Jesus Christ. Father God, help us really truly to be the light and the salt of this world. I just ask that you please bring us your message, your word. And help us be the doer of the word, Lord. We give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We give you all the praise and glory. Amen. So, uh, the other night I was praying very hard, and then, uh, like two days ago, uh-huh. I was very praying very loudly, you know, and then crying out to God. Because uh, I felt like in the prayer group, uh, many people were not really praying. Because in the prayer group, and a lot of people were like down. And so, you know, I, 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 I was like, you know, we need to, to get strong. And we need so to get strong. So I really prayed so hard as I said everywhere and you know, like that. You know? And then uh, that night, in the morning, God just talked to me. And then just said like, I want you guys, I want you to get out of the your comfort zone. Like, like get out of your comfort zone. So what does this mean? It means uh, that we are like always, you know, in some some of our comfort place in our life. Everything, everything is There is no real big challenge. And there is no big, there is no big striving to, to go forward. And there is no big vision, there is no big dream. Okay, and uh, I was like, you know, this is not the real people, and then uh, this is not the real people that God liked and God praised. We'll look at uh, the story of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, in uh, Lu Jia Fuin Di Shu Jiu Shu Jiu. Oh, Zacchaeus, the Chinese and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a name, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. Stature. Okay, one through three. This man, Zacchaeus, was a short person. He's not a tall person. You know? But it says he was a chief among the publicans and he was rich. In order for at that time, even even more at that time, even for a small man, small man to get recognized, a short person to get recognized was very hard. 
Because at the time it was like, oh, tall people, strong people, or more respected short people. 但那个时候长得又高又强壮的人就容易受到尊重。And short people usually don't have a huge voice compared to a big person, right? 而且矮小的人嗓嗓门也不大。Right, you normally. 就是通常来说。And this person, how is he a chief of the Uh, tax collectors. And how is he very rich and successful? No. He was very short, and because Jesus was in the place, there are so much people flocking to see Jesus. And there's no way to really get him close. There's no way. And Zacchaeus, so you saw guy, nah? Is even more at a hard place than normal people. Zacchaeus 比普通人更加难接近耶稣。He cannot even look up. You know, he cannot even look. 他甚至都只能看到别人的人头，他根本跳不过。Think about it. In a crowded place, have you been to a crowded place? 你们去过那种人很挤的那种环境 ？Sometimes when they're taller people, they're taller than you. You cannot see anything. 如果前面的人都长得比你高，你根本看不到。Sometimes when they're taller people, they're taller than you. You cannot see anything. 如果前面的人都长得比你高的话，你就什么都看不见。And you're pressed by the crowd. But Zacchaeus did not give up. But Zacchaeus did not give up. So Zacchaeus could have said, "Oh, you know, there's, you know, no way for me to see Jesus." He could have said, "Oh, you know, there's no way for me to see Jesus." He could have said, "Oh, you know, there's no way for me to see Jesus." No, but he was a man of achievement. 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 He was a man of achievement. But he was a man of achievement. But he was a man of achievement. He was not somebody who falls back into perdition and then give up. Perdition. Yeah, fall back into is a is a Bible. God is not pleased with those who fall back into perdition. Ah, he is not that kind of uh, fall back into perdition and then uh, quickly give up. Yeah, he is the one like no, what I need, I'm gonna need to get it through. Ah, he is that kind of. He's not somebody who easily give up. He 没有轻易的去放弃 In every single one person of our life, there are hard, hard things. 啊，在我们每个人的生命当中，都有很困难的问题 But we cannot make that our handicap. 但是这些问题不能让我们变得残疾 There is this uh, another person in real life in our time called Nick. Nick Vujicic. In our time, we don't know if you've heard of him. He's a very famous person called Nick. Nick. He's not a foot, no feet. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. 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 She's she's very good looking. 是个非常漂亮的日本日本女孩。And he can basically do everything with that little chicken drumstick. Drumstick that he has on her, like on her feet. 他几乎能做所有的事情，用他他自称自己的小鸡腿。Uses his mouth and his fists. 用他的嘴，他能够做所有的事情。And he's a father. 他是要做的父亲。Right. You understand? Yeah, you understand the handicap that he has to go through. He overcame all. But 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 he overcame all. Okay. You have to understand. He is running. He is running. He is not just oh, I'm just gonna go climb a tree slowly. No. He didn't wait. He went and overcame. 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 Jesus knows this man. Obviously, Jesus is God. He knows. Jesus, 当然心里其实已经知道这个人 
He knows who is really seeking the truth. He, he knows who is really looking for God. Who is really looking to um, get something that they maybe desire? He knows people who don't give up. And this is the person that God meets. So he, Jesus, out of all those hundreds of thousands of people there, he goes to Zacchaeus. So Jesus And verse 5 he says, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and saw unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at your house. Yes, Jesus says, Hey, Zacchaeus, he knew him by his name. How does he know by his name? And out of all those people, just calls him. You have to understand that Jesus goes to people who are really desperately trying to overcome. Everybody needed help at some level. They're all looking for help at some level. As there were problems in our lives today, there were problems in people's lives. They were sick. Maybe they had family problems. Uh, maybe they had all kinds of problems that you can think of now that we have. They had it even more because they didn't even have a good technology. They have more problems. It's not like they didn't have problems, okay? They have more problems than now. And everybody had problems that they were looking for the truth. God. They were looking for God. Everybody was looking for the one who can help. But Jesus says, I'm going to go to your house, Zacchaeus. Why not anybody else's home? What, because Zacchaeus is rich and he has a good home? You know, God is not a respecter of persons. You know, so he goes to the people who really are seeking, who really want the truth, who really want help, who really want God to be at this place. Who do anything? Quickly, if anything possible, quickly to go after God. The reason why Zacchaeus ran is not because, well, like, you know, he has to run. You know? He ran because he's desperate. Because he was a sinner. And he wanted salvation. That's what he wanted. He wanted salvation. We can read through. Let's read. Okay. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. See again, he makes haste and come down. See you. See? I mean, you, come, you just have to come down the tree, but you don't have to come down quickly, right? What if, what if you fall down? You can break your leg, right? Because you're in a very high place. But he's like, oh no, Jesus, I'm coming down. Do you understand the, the level of, of uh, earnest 
earnest desperate that he wanted God so bad. And receive it joyfully, like I was like, oh, thank you, you know, like like happily. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be the guest with a man that is a sinner. Everybody's like, oh, Jesus goes to that devil. Because tax collectors at the time were like betrayers of Israel people. They would go as Roman um, representatives, and they're not Romans. And then tell them, give me your money, basically. Give me your tax. So people hated these people. It's like, oh, you know, we could be saying that all oh, those Japanese lovers, all oh, those when Japanese come over to China, you know, or Korea, whatever. Yeah, it could be the, like the betrayer. Okay? And Jesus Christ, who is God, goes to his house. So people are all complaining. Well, God don't come to my home and bless my home, and he go to the devil's house to bless the devil? <coughs> right? I mean, think about it. Right? You, you, you have somebody maybe you don't like, and then Jesus comes, and then he don't go to your home, but he goes to that person's home. How do you feel? You don't even like that person. That person is a sinner, the devil. Right? Huh? Why did God go to him? Yeah? See, God does not care how evil that person is. Because in God's righteousness standard, everybody is evil in some ways. Okay, so it's like, oh, who's a little bit taller, who's a little bit less? I mean, seriously, everybody's sinner. Okay, so, so yeah, you know, so God goes to those who's really fervently seeking God. Fervently seeking God. Okay, I heard this uh, testimony of this pastor. Okay. His church uh, basically had 500 people. It was successful, right? And he got prankful. And then his church all got scattered apart, all broken. Okay? And so he's basically left with nothing. He's ruined. But he doesn't give up. He's like, oh, if I give up, um, I'm going to be ruined totally forever. He was rich man. He was also rich. He could have gone back to the business, just forget this, all this God stuff and go back to his business. But he's like, no, I'm not going to betray God. I know how to meet God. So I'm going to do 40 days seeking God. He didn't fast 40 days straight. But he fasted 7 days, 5 days, 7 days like that, you know, on and off, on and off. And all day long, he go to the prayer mountain, go to the mountain, pray, 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 from morning to night, morning to night, every day for 40 days. And of course, God talks to him. And he, God told him, you know, God uses people who are clean inside, not just outside. And, you know, 
through those places, he gets to know people, and they tell him, when your church is ruined, you need somebody who can revive the church. So you need a famous revivalist to revive your church. Then, he said, so he prayed and asked God to give him that person. And he goes to him. And, and he goes to him, and then the guy told him, Come back after three years. I'm already booked. My I'm schedule is booked for three years. And it's like, Three years, my church right now is ruined. Right now, I need you right now. And it's like, sorry, cannot do it. Get out of here, please. I'm busy. Okay, so he get he goes, and then he he just goes in and prays and cries and prays and cries again. And he feel like oh he needs to go back again like that, you know. Woman that went to an unrighteous judge. You know that, do you know that story? Jesus says, There is in this town an unrighteous judge who don't care about God and who don't regard for man. It's an evil man. And then this woman goes to this judge asking for justice. And even though he's she's going there, you know, and he's an evil man, he told her get out of here. I don't, I don't I'm not gonna do it for you. She comes in every day, every day, every day. And then he says, Oh, it's not like, you know, I care about this one, but because she comes to me every day, I'm so tired of seeing her. She stresses me out. Because of the stress I'm getting from this person, I'm going to go help her. Okay. okay, it's not because he's good, but he's getting stressed out. And he's saying, God's saying, how much will the Heavenly Father give to those who are asked? Keep on asking. I also encountered this yesterday. There's this guy who keeps on asking me questions. You see, you didn't even finish the story before. I know, I know. But I'm just going to stop. Uh, 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 yesterday, he was keep on asking me questions online. On and I answer him, answer him, answer him, answer him, answer him, answer And he keep on asking, 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 asking. I was like, man, when is he going to stop? I'm like, I'm like basically almost repeating what I've said before. You know? And I was getting tired of this guy. I was like, man, you know, I'm like, I need to do something too, you know, I'm busy. I, I just, I just, at the time, I was just like, wish he stopped talking. You know, wish he stopped talking. I was like, telling him, hey, just, just stop talking, just do what I tell you to do. And then I heard this testament from this pastor. And I can understand, oh, yeah, that judge might have felt like how I was annoyed. It, it does get annoying after, like, you talked to him the whole day. You know? It's like, oh, get up, please, get up, go, please, go, you know, please go, like that. I don't want to talk to you anymore, because, you know, it's not that, the talk is not that pleasant anyway. Okay, so, this pastor went after him. And then, he saw him again, and then, he, he, and, he and he's like, oh, it's you again? You come again? And there's oh please please help me please help me you know please help me I said wait three years get out of here I cannot do it for you please go 
Like that. 那个牧师对他说, 你出去, 我跟你讲了三年以后, 你现在不能, 我现在不能帮你, but he believed in God and he believed in his prayers. So even though he left, he parked his car on front of his car. So when they're when he's leaving and he finished eating, he go eat. And then he parked his car right in front of his car so not to move his car. And then he come out and then so oh this guy again came, huh? You didn't leave? You didn't go home, huh? And then this lady out of nowhere called out to him. Oh pastor, pastor. Oh aren't you this this pastor? And then he looked at her, he's like, oh, oh you, the, she she received like as like healing or something from him. And then And then she's like, oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And this famous revivalist asked her, oh, you know him? Oh yeah, he's a very, very good pastor. He's all very awesome. He's very good. Very good. So God was there. You know? And he believed this was act of God. So this guy tells him, oh, okay, then come, come. Let, uh, just, come, just come follow me if you want to follow, follow me okay so he go and follow him and then he said you know just follow me around and and he and he goes to a revival meeting and this Ming Xing is supposed to give a testimony of, it, of believing Jesus but this guy didn't come. And then and the pastor was praying, oh, please make me speak, make me speak, make me speak, make me speak. So that guy goes like, oh since there's an empty spot, you should. So he preached with power and signs and wonders. And because of that, his name got famous again and people start flocking to his church again. Now I'm telling you because I don't want us to be stuck in a place of complacency. We all have problems, right? We all have problems. Then we should do something radical. Like, I don't know, if it takes 40 days, would you do it to meet God? You know, a lot of Christians don't hear God's voice. Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, right? This is basic things. Right? And you, you, maybe a lot of Christians are like, well, I don't care. This is a leprosy disease. This is a spiritual leprosy people have. Okay, this is a bing. This is a bing. They have problem. They have Their basic things is not even solved. And they are doing nothing about it. You know what leprosy does? It makes you numb. To the, all the senses get numb. Huh? All the skin gets all white and you know numb. And the nose fall off, ear fall, they cannot really feel it. You know, and then the foot come off, leg come out, hand come off, they cannot feel it. All right, now Christians have this spiritual mafia. They're happy. 
where they're at. Comfortable. Just take it easy. Just go to Sunday church. And that's it. Now, God does not make us like that. God did not make us like that. God asks us to go and conquer the world. Go and conquer. From Adam and Eve, God told them, Go and conquer the world. Jesus told all the people that, And you shall be my witnesses from here and to the end of the world. To the end of the world. But many times, I mean, we can even hear the voice. Maybe we're like the people who are watching the chaos. We're like just comfortable, I guess. Jesus, maybe don't come to my house, I guess don't cry out. You know what? There are blind people at that time. When they heard Jesus coming to the town, they cried out, Jesus, Jesus, come and save us, help us. And people are telling, be quiet, be quiet. You're not the only one problem. Be quiet. And disciples tell him, be quiet. Jesus is trying to talk. Be quiet. And they said, all the more they cried out even louder, crying out, David, son of David, please help us, help us, help us, son of David, help us. And Jesus called. And they, he came to them. And they said, what do you want? We want to see. And he healed them to see. Do you understand? Well, what about the people now? Well, Jesus is not here physically. We cannot get the same thing. No, that is not true. Same way, the same way these blind people met Jesus and Zacchaeus met Jesus. Bible says, if you come after me with all your heart and all your mind to seek me, you will meet me. And whatever you want, after, if you meet God, you're going to get an answered. Whatever it is that you need will be answered. And God will give you a new purpose. You're not just supposed to be a, a small person like Zacchaeus but you're supposed to be a chief the head and not the tail head and not the tail okay you can be the head doesn't matter how you're born like successful people they don't blame their situations but they take action no matter their situation they don't blame their situation they don't they don't blame their parents their sisters brothers whoever did bad unto them however that they were raised or whatever they do not blame those things they take action they look for ways like Zacchaeus look for the tree Oh, go climb um, and see. Like these, these blind people who cannot see. There are people, so much people. How can they see Jesus? Jesus, where is Jesus? They cannot even see. What, what do they only have? Their weapon. Their mouth. 
Okay? Their voice. So they just use whatever they have. Oh, Jesus, 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 and Jesus comes. Okay? So don't, don't say, oh, well, I'm this and that, I'm not, I cannot do it, my shingo is not good, whatever. Uh, don't say those things. If you're willing, you can do it. You can do it. These are people like you and me, everybody like you and me. They're also made of clay, like we are made of clay, okay? They're not made of special material, okay? They're not. And we even have the Holy Spirit with us. So we need to start getting out of our comfort zone. And do something in your life that you refuse to do. Do something that is not comfortable for you. You read Paul's story. Let's go to um, Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Okay, what did he say? He said, be ye followers of me as I follow Christ. Now how, he said, copy me. He's like, be imitators of me, right? And then let's go to 2 Corinthians. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11. How did then we need to follow him? I'll read first. Okay. Uh, are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a full. I am more. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths often. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes to save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, thrice I, was, I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeys often, in perils in waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils of the city, in perils of the wilderness, in perils of the sea, in perils among the false brethren. In weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often. Besides those things that are without that which come upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is off offended and I burn out? If I must need glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. The God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ was blessed forevermore. Know that I lie not. Okay. So basically, Paul is as weak as we are. And even if even even if even more weaker than us. 
Paul is not a strong person. Paul is not a strong person. He is not a superman. He is not a superman. But he suffered these things. 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 But he suffered We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. We need to be more fervent and get out of our comfort zone. He's always in tiredness, traveling, traveling here to there, here to there, healing the sick, praying all night. I mean, I mean, you talk about Jesus suffering; he's really suffering. You 讲到耶稣非常疲惫，从一个地方到一个地方，到各处的地方走来走去，去传道、医治，然后还有通宵的祷告，非常的辛苦。Christian life is not supposed to be just sit sit home and just pray a little, read a little Bible, study. And then to sleep, okay? It's not that. 基督徒的生活不是啊，在家里面舒舒服服的祷告一点点，读经一点点，然后就睡觉。It's not. 不是这样的生活。To be a Christ, Christian means Christ-like person. Christian 就基督徒，就说要像基督一样的门徒。Okay, like how Paul was, how Christ Jesus was. We are to pain, bear the pains and sufferings. 像保罗一样，像耶稣一样，我们要一起担着我们的十字架，上这个痛苦。Do you think Paul was not sick? 你觉得保罗没有生病吗 ？Paul was sick too. 保罗也生病。You think Paul was like maybe because he's healing people, maybe he's not sick? No, he was sick himself. 你觉得保罗他到处的医病，他可能自己没有病。He even asked God to take away this devil that is buffeting him three times. 他甚至求神三次，让那个他身上那个撒旦放那个刺挪走。And Jesus said no. 但是神说不行。Why? 为什么 ？So that the, through these infirmities he can become strong. 通过这些软弱的点，他可以在基督里变得更加刚强。When you put yourself in a hard situation, you become stronger. 当你把自己放在一个很困难的环境。There's this best cut, best knife maker called Cutco. Cutco. 世界上有一个那个最最好的这个刀具的这个生产商。They make the best cutting knives. 他们做的是最世界最棒的这个刀具。The sharpest and the best undulable knife, unbreakable knife. 最锋利，不，它不会钝的，刀不钝。You cannot even break the knife. 你是打不断那个刀。And you like, how can you not even break the knife? Like, 刀怎么可能不打断呢 ？Not with your hand, like maybe other things, but but anyways, you cannot even break the knife. No, most most knife you can bend it and break it. 很多刀你一一弯它都就会折折断。But not the cut hole. 但那个 cut hole 那个刀就不会断。Do you know how they make that? 你知道他们怎么制造那个刀吗 ？They hammer it down, hammer it down, hammer it down first. 他们首先要把那个刀锤打。High pressure, high pressure hammering. And then after they make the knife shape, they put it in hot fire. They put really hot fire. They call it heat treating. And then normally people put it into water to cool it down. Not cut coal. They put it into Minus 245 Fahrenheit degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. They put it in the lowest degree ice cold place. 然后那个没有断的刀，他再拿回去，重新再进入那个高温里面去烧
the broken one needs to go back into the whole process again. And then after all those process, they take it out, put it into ice again. And if it doesn't break, then they start grinding it. And normally people just grind it, okay? Normally people just grind it. Not cuckoo, not cuckoo. They don't just grind it. But they make it into a U-shaped points, 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 sharp points into the place. And they take minuscule, minus very sharp edge, and they make it really super sharp. And unlike other knife company. And when, when they chop, the only sharp points get dull, but the real blade, the used blade, never get dull. Never get dull. You know, God, to God, we are His tools. Some are usable. Some are not really usable. Why? Some went through the hard fire and cold and hard fire and cold. Some just sit back at home and didn't do anything. To get an easy way, easy way. And those knives cannot use. To God, God also is a potter and he uses tools, okay? He wants to use us because we are his. But if we do not put ourselves out of our comfort zone into the wild, into the the real sufferings of Christ. Then we are unusable. So this is what I really suggest. Be like these men of God. That they are as weak as you. They are as, as human as we are. But seek God as they did. Is it going to be easy? Of course not. Okay, you try doing that 40 days seeking all day long, praying, seeking God. I mean, you do that 40 days. I mean, you're going to be tired. And you're going to be wondering why. But in there, God will be there. God is not dead. But God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Diligently. Do you understand? Don't be satisfied with, oh yeah, I have a gift of tongues and that's it. You know, what is that? Huh? That's basic stuff. Basic. Don't be satisfied with just, okay, reading the Bible maybe once through. Don't be satisfied with that. Don't be satisfied just praying. I mean, you need to hear God and see what God really wants you to do, right? You want to see and hear. That's where we want to go. Not just satisfied with hearing and seeing, doing the works of God as how Jesus did, how people, Paul did, how, how his disciples did, doing that. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. Verse, yeah, verse 9, verse 10 to, 10 to uh, 12, okay? It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. You don't know this? Um, think, think. These people who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, and theirs in the kingdom of heaven. 
They are blessed because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Because through their sufferings of persecution, they have won the kingdom of heaven to themselves. Okay? Do you understand? When we go to heaven, I don't really know, but I don't know. When I look at this verse, then what about those people um, who didn't get persecuted at all? Will they then get heaven? Are they then not blessed? Number one, not blessed. We don't know about getting the kingdom of heaven in this, this case. Okay? Do you understand? So, and it says further on, it says further on, verse, uh, verse 13, it says verse 13, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thence for good for nothing, but to be casted out and be trodden under foot of man. Okay? He said, You are the salt, you are the salt. But if it doesn't do its function, it's just good for nothing. It's like good for nothing. You don't get persecuted for speaking what, right? Basically, guys, like you're a coward. And you're good for nothing. Okay? What does salt do? Salt gives taste to food. Salt makes the at the time they use it for food not to be rotten. Cast out the rottenness. Out. What are we to do then? As salt? Look at the world, the people are rotting and dying. They don't know Jesus. And they're rotting and dying. We are the salt. We have the salt. We have the salt. And we must go and be persecuted for righteousness sake. Okay? What is E? Making them right with God. So they can receive the righteousness of God. Through that, you get persecuted. They'll revile you, they'll say bad things to you, they'll make fun of you. They might think, they might think you're crazy, whatever. Okay? But say, that's okay. He said, be happy because Tian Go is yours. Tian Go. Tian Go. Okay? We need to get the Tian Guo. That's what we're doing this, right? Get out of the comfort zone. What should we do? Hear God's voice first. Ask God, what should I do with my life? My life is not mine. We must carry our cross. We don't want to carry the cross. Nobody want to, no Christian want to carry the cross. It's almost embarrassing to carry the cross. You carry the cross outside, people are going crazy. And it's painful, it means you're going to die to yourself. Okay? This is, because Christianity is not just fun and games. Oh yeah, just happy, 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 happy. You know what it, no. This is a battles with the devils. 
Okay, this is a battle with devils. I mean, we need to win the war. Right, we need to win. In order to win, you need to be as a sharp edged sword that you can be. Go through the train of fire, ice, fire, ice, and the grinding, and the grinding, and the grinding, and make you the sharpest sword so you can cut the enemy, cut the enemy, and, and beat against the enemy and win the war. Amen? Say amen? You agree or not? Amen means agree. You say amen, then put yourself into the sufferings of Peter, Paul, all the disciples, and of Christ. Put yourself into the suffering. Put yourself there. Don't be happy where you are. Don't be happy with where you are. Because time will come when those things might be taken away from us quickly. Okay. Huh? Money will be taken away. Uh, maybe your things will be taken away. If the Antichrist rises, he'll even take all your freedom rights away from you and he'll kill you basically. So we need to get prepared and win this battle that we have one chance, one life to do it. There's only one moment to do it. Run like don't wait until a person make haste and move to God. Move to God. Okay, so with that, let's really pray and we'll see, see the Lord and, and seek the Lord. Our dear Heavenly Father God, we come before you. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Yes, this Christian life is not easy. And it was not to be easy. It was more of a path of suffering as Paul and all the Christians, the true Christians, suffered for Christ. They really put down their life God, They didn't care whether they were being ridiculed or being laughed at or being stoned and beaten. They didn't care. They didn't care they were hungry because of fastings and seeking God. They didn't care. Father, it's really embarrassing to call ourselves Christians when we cannot even hear the voice of God. Father, are we really your sheep? Please speak to us. And help us to seek you really. To hear your voice, Father. And to follow after you. And to do the things which you place in our hearts, Father. Make us sharp swords that you can use to cut the enemies. I just ask that you please help us in all our weaknesses. Help us to go through the fire and in the ice and the fire and the ice. To Go through the grinding of our wicked personalities to be pure and purified and purified. Father God, forgive us of being lukewarm. Forgive us of not being hot. But even cold. And you said lukewarm will be casted out, Father. And you don't want us to be lukewarm. Help us to get out of there. And be accepted in Christ by being hot in the Lord. And we know and we believe that you will meet us as we truly seek your face, as your word says you'll come and meet us. 
主我们相信，当我们诚心的去寻求你的时候，你就真的会让我们遇见你。Father God, help us to get out of the comfort zone. In Jesus' name, we pray. 求你帮助我们脱离我们的这个舒适区